Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fix our screen so that we have our screen placed in the in the iPhone correctly. And as you can see from the last lesson, we do have three parts, which would be our glass here, um, the actual inside portion of the body, and then this would be the screen. But for right now, as you can see, that there's you know no thickness on the screen, and that's okay because this is just simply going to get a texture, but let's just say if you broke your iPhone or you know you had the opportunity where you could see inside of your iPhone the actual screen portion of the iPhone has a little bit of depth to it there's not a a massive amount of depth and that's because the iPhone itself if you can look here from the blueprint isn't necessarily that thick but it's thick enough to where the screen has to be sitting inside of something so we have to keep that in mind and what we're going to need to do here is we also need to make this you know light sensitive where it's going to be closed and so we aren't going to get any necess um, unnecessarily lights actually showing through the model so it has to be somewhat closed off and so let's go ahead and Let's go to edge mode, uh, edge selection mode, and we're going to select the border edge here for where the, the screen will be sitting inside of. Let me go ahead and add this to its own layer just so I can hide it and so I can do all the extrusions here. So let's go into edge ex um, selection mode here, and I'm just double clicking so that I can select the entire edge of the um, body of where the, the actual screen is going to be placed in here. And I'm just going to go into the extrude tool, which is under your edit mesh menu in your polygon menu. And it's right at the top. So we're just going to go ahead and extrude in. And the tool comes down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and just hit W so that we can extrude this in here. And we're not going to extrude in too far, um, just a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit more. Let's go and say that far and then we're going to extrude in again so that we can sort of close this off and we're going to extrude up and as you can see the the corner here the corner here on the bottom it's coming in is somewhat weird and it's not extruding in properly so I'm going to go back and I'm just going to go ahead and use the scale tool so I can scale it in uniformly and that's good there okay so now if I hit 3 to smooth the model you can see that we have a little bit of thickness but there isn't a huge amount of thickness and so now let's go ahead and bring back the screen of our iPhone I'll go ahead and delete the layer here select it we're gonna go ahead and put it back into place but you can see here where it's still sitting on top of the actual inside portion of the body so we need to go ahead and move that in a little bit and if we go ahead and smooth this you can see where the corners are going to be a little bit weird and th that's because we need to add a couple extra edge loops to each corner of it and so let's go ahead and bring in our insert edge loop tool again and I just want to be mindful of where I place these edges and I want to try to keep it as close as I can so it's going to maintain its shape as well as I want it to so let's go ahead and go around the body portion of the mesh here and just simply place those edges in here and these edges actually aren't really going to affect the model just um, which would be the outside portion of the body and that's good because we have it separated so let's go ahead and place those there let's go ahead and place these last ones we're going to go ahead and hit 3 on the keyboard and you can see there as it's maintaining its shape fairly well and that's pretty much the front portion of our, iP our iPhone so let's go ahead and I'm going to rehide the screen here and I'm just going to simply add a couple extra edge loops on the inside portion of our extrudes here just so that this is definitely going to maintain its shape a lot better and it's going to give it more of a hard edge as you can see there and 
go ahead and bring back our screen and just make sure it's being placed properly and just had to scale it up a little bit there you can see that we have a little bit of thickness um, there's not a massive amount of thickness inside of this and that's good that's exactly what we're looking for and <clears throat> there you go we have our screen and placed properly and in the next lesson we'll continue working our way from from front to back.